this is another topic that I had promised that I would share about in a, in a short clip uh, here on YouTube concerning tithing. Tithing, usually many Christians have questions about it, so I'm going to break it down a bit in case you stay with a few questions feel free to link them in the comment section below and i'll pick it from there hello my people welcome back to my channel if it is your first time here i am christine councilman jambona some people call me ck others call me ckt others call me krishi my long time name whichever is easier for you i am okay there are people who call me names and i know exactly where we met there are people who even call me, come see me. I know that we met in either my secondary school or my primary school. <laughs> they still call me that name. So it is amazing on how we keep friends. Yeah. So I am pleased and glad to have you here. And the goal through this channel is to break down big concepts in Christianity such that anyone can apply those tips in their daily life so that they enjoy the promises of God as he has promised them in the Bible. I get to share many things that Christians never get a chance to ask as the sermon is being preached. Yeah, so if you are led to any topic that you would want us to share here, feel so free to drop it in the comment section below and I'll get my hands on it and I bring it to you. We have a conversation about it. Yes. Without wasting much of your time, let us share about tithing or giving tithes. Tithes, as simple as it is, is a tenth of what you have or 10% of what you have. But many people look at it in terms of finances, but it is not limited to finances. For instance, in the Old Testament, they would not give money because that time, well, there were shepherds or something, but they would give cows a tenth of their cattle, a tenth of their goats. So if you are worried of your small money, know that in the Old Testament, it was even harder because you would give 10% of everything that you had. And so it should be us. You understand? If they had goats, 20 goats, they would give two of those goats, the 10% of the 20. You understand? If they had 100 goats or 100 cattle and 100 sheep, they would get 10% of each of those items, of those animals. If you harvest wheat, 10 bags of, uh, of barley, or of, um, of whatever harvest you make, you get 10% of that and give it. So likewise, we are meant to give our tithes, but the key word here is to give the heart, not to show off. There are people who give um, 20 million, but out of what they have, to us, we might see that, yeah, they have given. But according to what they have, in God's eyes, it could be small. That's why we have that parable of, of um, a woman who gave half a button and he was the best giver, yet people had given in that same congregation. Why? Because God looked at the heart of that woman and saw that she had only that button that she gave out. Had she been with a lot, she would give. Now that is how God looks at our giving and that's how he looks even at our tithes. But um, there is a verse in Malachi chapter 3 verse... Uh, let me read it in... Okay, let me read it in KJV. This is my KJV version. Um... Malachi chapter 3 verse 8. I'm going to read until 11. Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 says, Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, Wherein have we robbed you? 
in tithes and offerings. You are cursed with a curse, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. Bring, bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, and there may be meat in mine house, and prove me now wherein, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, and he shall not destroy the fruits of your ground, neither shall your vine cast her fruit before the time in the field, says the Lord of hosts. When you give tithes, there is a protection that goes on around you that you are in that safety that everything you do is blessed that you can't even afford to the, the bible has called it you shall not even have enough room to receive it uh, this this giving tithe comes with this promise he says he will open the windows and to me the windows of heaven is the revelation or the understanding when you have the understanding opportunities open to you that you're able to make much more so you end up becoming the source of the blessing that you are making more to bless even others so to me i see giving tithe with this is such a beautiful portion that anyone shouldn't default on giving their tithes but still i insist that if you're giving your tithes or any form of giving your heart should be as cheerful because the bible tells us that he loves a cheerful giver yeah so um it is important that we know that the attempt is given not limited to only your finances it can be any other Earning. So I always hear my friends asking, but concerning tithe, do we do we <laughs> do we tithe on net or on gross? So the point is <laughs> okay, let me put it clear that it should be your gross which you should tithe. Actually, even more than your gross. It should be your kind of giving if you if your heart allows it because even if you give it without your heart then it will go and consider something like yeah you have given but you're out of compulsion not the freedom to give so there are people who even give way and above the gross so if God gives you that grace you're free to to, to give that way because even it is not only limited to your salary or your earning that comes to your tithe even your time should be you should tithe on your time how much time do you give god concerning the ministry concerning the kingdom your time should also have a tenth at some point that you give to god what of your your gardens what of your Talk about anything that you have should carry and attend, which is your 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 tithe or your giving. So don't label yourself only on the finances. Oh, like I receive a hundred million dollars on my account every month, so my tithe is that. No, there are other things that you may not be considering, but yet they are also in your stewardship that you must give tithe you understand but if you are still a babe if you are still new in tithing don't judge yourself if you fail to fulfill the god we serve is an understanding god he will want you to improve but he will not criminalize criminalize you is that a word <laughs> is that english i don't know like he won't blame you for not giving because anyway he's not stuck that he's looking for your attention 
it is you honoring God, acknowledging him as your Lord or as your father that I acknowledge that you entrusted me with this much and I am ready to give my tithe. So don't blame yourself when you fail. You might do it a few months then. On the fourth one, you find yourself, you went to the account and you hit it all. Don't blame yourself to feel like. Pick it up from there, continue the journey, and God will bless you. He's not mad at you that you don't give him his tithe. But, I mean, it is you to leave that, that principle and it works. And what I can say... People in the world even practice this than you who is a Christian who is in church. You find people, you find a man like Bill, Bill Gates giving even beyond 10%. So, and it works for him. You understand? So many people apply. As long as you apply a principle of God, he won't segregate you that for you, you are not a Christian. For you, you are a Christian. No. As long as you live a principle or a pattern concerning this truth, it will definitely work for anyone who puts it to use. So yeah, let me end it here guys for today. If you haven't watched my videos about finances and giving, feel free to look them up. I'm going to leave links here. And I'll see you on my next one. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Always remember to give the likes to my videos. And when you do that, automatically YouTube leaves such good content in the near such a boss that everyone can access it. And that way we are extending the message to the ends of the earth, guys. I love you so much and pray for each one of you. I will definitely see you on my next one. Ciao.